What's up everybody? It is Dylan Risser from Paws. Today we have something very exciting to talk about. We're gonna be talking about the Paws XC 20.2. All right, so we are in the front of the Paws. I wanna point out a few things to you here. The first one being our large A-frame storage box right here. On this side of the storage box, what you have here is your two 30-pound LP tanks. On the other side of the storage box, what you have is storage area and you also have your power tongue jack in there. This number one lets you have your tailgate down. It doesn't impede your tailgate when it comes down. Number two, it gets it away from all the brush and so forth when you're going off the beaten path. Next, we have our polyurea coating. You'll see this on our front wall here. It helps with abrasions, deflections of rock, brush, anything that you run across. You'll see it on all our sides as well. Our PVC pieces here are always covered with that polyurea coating that helps with any leaks as well. You notice here we have a couple skylight windows. So these are all dual pane. They have shades on the inside. They have screens on the inside. You have two of them right on top of your bed here. So when you're laying in bed, you can easily look up and see those stars at night. On top, we have a pretty large light bar. This will light up the night sky when you have it on. This is for when you're uh, taking those paths in, in the darkness. Then we have a camera on top. You'll notice we'll have cameras on all four sides. The camera on the front is right beneath the light bar there. Another thing I want to make note of is our hitch. This is a articulating hitch. It'll fit a two and five sixteenths inch ball. So your standard size ball. This will actually swing side to side when you're going down the trails as well. So if this thing happens to lean one way or another, it won't affect your truck or whatever you're pulling it with whatsoever. What we have right away is our 12 volt Truma cooler. This is dual zone, actually it's 110 as well. But again, like I was saying, it is dual zone. So when you open it up, you'll see two sides here. You can either have one side being refrigerated, one side being a freezer, or you could have it all refrigerator or all freezer. So it's super nice. As we look around here too, Here's another one of those dual pane windows, acrylic windows that I was talking about, just like we have on the front. If we look down, I want to spend a little time on this. This is our aluminum frame. So our aluminum frame is actually huck riveted. So huck rivet meaning there's no welds on here whatsoever. We take all the human air out of welding and we put in huck rivets. They are put in by machines, very consistent day in and day out. You don't have to worry about any welds cracking or anything like that. And on top of it here, this is called a brush guard. You'll see those all the way around the trailer in certain spots. These are actually very sturdy. You can stand on these, you can hit those rocks, hit the brush, deflects everything away from the trailer's frame. This is our Lippert door here. You see it has a lock on it here as well. You can put in your code, open up your deadbolt. It also has a screen door in here as well. Your more ride triple aluminum steps, these will actually flip up into the coach. We have a couple outlets here, then you have a TV hookup as well on the outside. So if you wanna hook up your TV antenna, hook it up right there. As we look at our suspension as well, this is another thing I wanna spend some time on because it's pretty unique to the pause trailer. This will actually give you 12 inches of more height from where we're at right now. It's on individual airbags, our suspension is. So we can lift it up by a press of a button, go up 12 inches, gives you about 25 inches of ground clearance, which is pretty substantial. You'll notice here too, we'll have a couple Bilstein shocks on each arm. And then also you have a gauge down here that'll tell you, you know, where you need to be when you're in travel mode as well. So as long as you're in the green, you're good to go down the road. We also have a port right along the side here if you want to hook up an air hose or so forth to inflate your tires, to inflate your truck tires, your bike tires. You can hook up a hose right here and our onboard air compressor will take care of the rest. As we keep moving to the side here, we notice right away this is our very large deluxe outside kitchen. You have a, a griddle stove top combo. So this will allow you to cook uh, the burgers, the bacon, everything all at once. We have a large pantry as well. So if we open this up, you notice we have a couple shelves in here. We can pull out 
for all your belongings from home. Then we also have, if you notice here, a small little spice rack holder right along the side of the microwave. Open that up, you can put your spices in, some small belongings. We do have a microwave like I was mentioning before. We have a 12 volt refrigerator out here as well. If you open that up, pretty good size. So keep in note, we have a refrigerator here and we also have a refrigerator on the front and we have a small one on the inside. So we have quite a bit of space for you know, all your frozen belongings, your drinks, your food, whatever you bring from home. As we move along to the back here, I'll tilt this down a little bit. We do have a couple speakers on top as well, a light in your camera. One last thing on this side, as we look up, we have our Thule legless awning. This spans 14 feet across the trailer and it'll actually come out 10 feet. So you notice too, it doesn't have any legs on the side, it just has the legs on the top. And this is actually all brought to you by the Garmin controls. So just by a click of a button, this will come all the way out to where it's at right now. A lot of fun things to talk about back here. The first thing I want to point out to you guys would be our two swinging tire carriers with two full-size tires on the back. So how to operate this, you just click up on this little lever here. This will swing all the way out. You are opened up to the back. You're able to open up your door now. So another cool thing we do is add this more ride safe trail arm. This gives you access to go up and down your steps with ease. Another nice thing about these steps, these more ride steps too, is that they actually fold up. This will allow you to, when you put your um, ladder into the trailer, it'll keep all the dirt on the outside of the steps. and It'll give you some more room on the inside of the cargo area as well. So we look around here, we see our recovery boards. You get a pair of two recovery boards with each pause. These are nice, so if you're going down the trail, if you get stuck, take these off, put them under your tires. It'll help you get some more traction. Another thing we give you too is this nice little um, drop down little bar top area here as well. So if you want to hang out and put your drinks or your tools back here, feel free to do so. Looking down here, we have our two toggle switches. These are for your lights on the inside of the cargo area and your lights on the outside of the cargo area. And while we're looking up, you see another camera. Again, all four sides. Your camera is located right here, right above your door on the outside. As we look up in here, we have quite a bit of space for your belongings. We also have a fishing rod holder in here as well. Uh, more storage space too in that area. And then we also have, and you, when you look in here, you see a boot hanger. So this is an attachment that we provided to you guys that allow you to put your boots or hang your clothes on in the rear here. And we have a vent back here too. So if things are starting to get a little musty and you want things to dry out, simply just turn on that vent and get some air circulation flowing through. A couple outlets back here, 110 and 12 volt. As we look on the inside to the left, you'll notice our electrical system. So that electrical system um, contains a 3000 watt inverter, two 40 amp solar chargers, two 270 amp hours of lithium batteries. Then what we have as well on top of the pause is 600 watts of solar and you get so for the upgraded package, you get to double your lithium, so you can get 1,080 amp hours of lithium, and you can double your solar, so you can get up to 1,200 watts of solar. To get to the roof of the paws, see all that solar, all that fun stuff up there. This is a very durable ladder. It comes standard on the paws. Another thing that comes standard would be your recovery hooks. You have one on each side, and these are actually not just for show. You can use these. These are actually bolted right into the frame. So they're very durable, very useful. So what we have here, this is simply just a access panel. This gets you to your water filter and also your water pump. So if anything goes wrong with your water filter or pump, just simply come back here and take a look at things. And we also put your Nautilus system, your Nautilus panel back here. This is a way to put water into your tanks to winterize your unit and also we give you this option to have a hose. <laughs> The hose plug in right here for hot and cold water. 
What you do to fill up your tanks, there's a little port right here. You can stick your hose up through the bottom of the trailer. It comes right through into the Nautilus panel right there. Another thing I want to show you guys while we're back here is simply just our stabilizer jacks. They're underneath the trailer right here. These are automatic, so we can control that through our Garmin tablet. And if something were to go wrong, there's a manual override port right here. So this is our 30 amp shore power hookup right here. Simple enough, just hook it in. As we move forward, this is our Fagati tankless water heater. Nice easy access panel here as well. Above it, our Suburban exhaust right here. Another brush guard, another stabilizer jack here in the front. Again, just like the other ones I was pointing out in the back. This is, uh, this is our auxiliary solar port right here. So it's essentially just plug and play. You get two portable solar panels with the upgraded solar package. So what you do is you just plug them into the auxiliary ports right here, extend those portable solar panels out to the sun, and you get some solar. Last thing I wanna show you guys is just the other side of the cargo area on the front. On the far side, we have our Truma cooler on a slide out tray. On this side, you have plenty of room for storage. Another really cool feature about the paws would be our walls. So the walls, the flooring, and the roof is all the same material. It is a transcore composite. It's inch and a half on the walls, on the roof, and about a little bit less than an inch on the flooring. So what this is, it's two pieces of fiberglass with a polypropylene inside of it. It's it's a nice insulation, it's a rigid, durable plastic. And what they do, instead of um, adhesive anything on here, putting any glues or so forth, what they do is they actually warm it all up, they seal it all together, they heat bond it, and it gives you this great product that we have here that's very durable. You can take a sledgehammer to these walls, the sludge will just bounce right off. So translate that into the real world, hitting a tree, Branches will just bounce right off. You're not gonna be able to penetrate this wall here. And then what we do is we give you a nice vinyl body wrap all throughout the trailer here on all the walls, the front, the back. And then what this comes in is four foot sections. So if something were to happen on one of these pieces here on your, on your wrap, you can easily replace that section if it were to get scratched or damaged. You just peel one uh, section, four foot section off, put another one on, and away we go. We are on the inside of the Paws 20.2. On the front here, we have a nice rollover sofa. This will actually, this top will actually roll over. And you can put your mattress out as a trifold mattress into a full-size queen bed, 60 by 80. On each side of the bed, we give you a t-shirt closet. Hang your t-shirts up in there. On the same, on the other side, you have the same thing over there. We have outlets on each side, and then we have outlets on the back of the t-shirt closets as well. Notice too, we have some reading lights on each side of the bed. We have your uh, nice dual pane windows above the bed as well. So again, when you're laying in bed at night and you look up, you can see the beautiful stars. So as we shift over to the little more back side of the paws here, right in the center section, we have our, our kitchen. We give you an induction cooktop. We also give you a sink here with a high rise faucet. Take this piece off here, you have a nice uh, sink here for all your dishes, washing and so forth. You can put that pl in place there and you have nice wide countertop spaces. Give you a mirror above as well. Then we give you some cabinet spaces on heavy duty struts and soft clothes as well. One thing to note about all the cabinets in here is that nothing on this trailer is wood. So for our cabinets, what we do is a uh, coated aluminum. It's a powder coated. Then we give you some drawers down here as well. Again, with the same functions as the cabinets here, soft close. Down below the sink, this is the fridge I was talking to you about. It's a smaller fridge, but again, we give you a fridge on the inside of the trailer as well. So you don't have to go to the outside to get any drinks or beverages or whatever you guys bring along. Your furnace is right here. This is a 20,000 BTU furnace, provides enough heat to warm up the coach. And actually the fireplace here as well is actually um, 5100 BTU, give you some heat as well. So if you don't wanna use your furnace, just turn on the fireplace heat, you'll get enough heat to warm up your coach as well. This is your nice entertainment center here. We give you a TV, it's got some nice lighting on both sides. This is controlled by this switch right here. 
You notice everything is controlled by your Garmin tablet, but you notice we put toggle switches in a lot of places. This is for your interior lights of the coach right here. Turn those on and off. This is for your exterior light. And what's really cool about this entertainment center here is it actually swivels out. So what I'll do here is I'll unlock it. I can open it up. We have some lockable storage right behind as well. So you can put in uh, any belongings that uh, you want to put in here that you don't want seen by anybody. And this wall is pretty concealed so no one will ever typically know that anything is even back there. So another thing I wanted to make note of too, that's something really important is your AC. We use a Truma Aventa AC. It is a 13,500 BTU. This actually gives you a chance to dehumidify the unit too. So it has a dehumidify mode on here as well. So that helps with any condensation that you guys have. Just simply turn on that dehumidify mode and you'll be good to go. We have a skylight right above us here. The same one that we put in the bathroom. What I wanted to show you guys is the shade system that is on the skylight as well. And if you don't want shades, you want to open it up and just have a screen. We'll simply just pull this side over and you have a screen. This goes for all your windows in the pause. So even on the side windows here, we have a shade system and a screen system. As you see here, I am in the bathroom of the pause. Right away we notice I'm not the tallest guy, but I do have plenty of room in the shower. We'll give you a skylight above, a full body shower. And this is actually a fiberglass surround shower, so it's very durable, uh, very comfortable. We can give you a seat right here too. So you can easily sit down, take a shower. You have a foot flush toilet here. It is a porcelain toilet. Another thing we added in the 20.2 would be our, our nice lab sink right here, a mirror above, and some cabinet spaces beneath some extra storage area there as well. This allows you to actually get ready in the bathroom. You don't have to go out to the main area there and do everything you need to do right here. This part right here, so this pass through here actually leads out to your fishing rod holders and extra storage area as well. So being that our walls are all one piece, we don't have to worry about any seams, no seam tape. So actually this design you're seeing here, not only on this design here, but on this one as well, it's actually a 3D print. So you're never gonna have anything peeling off the walls. And keep in mind, again, it is a 3D print, but you can feel some texture to it. And again, nothing's ever gonna peel off or you don't have to worry about anything falling off the walls. So this is the Garmin tablet. This is one of the most important things on the pause trailer. It controls almost everything on the unit itself. What we see here is the home screen. So what you wanna do is just click right here on the pause symbol and this will take you into the, the controls of the unit. You see right away, you got a bunch of different numbers and symbols going on, but essentially what this home screen is right here, is controls all your lights, interior, exterior lights, controls your water heater, your water pump. And then over here, this controls your, your vent in the bathroom. So if I wanna open that vent up and get some little air out or a little air in, I just press these buttons right here. This right here controls your AC, it controls your furnace as well, so we can turn that off and on. We can control the temperature when you're outside of the trailer, if you want it to warm up, if it's cold outside, you can actually warm up the trailer while you're outside on the trails, and then come back into a nice warm trailer. Up top, these are all your tank levels. You got your fresh water, your gray water, and your black water tank. So when those are filled, it'll actually show you the readings of those tank levels. The next page here, this is essentially just all your lighting. So you can actually just touch one of the lights here and it'll come off and on. You can dim those lights as well. If you wanna turn it down, you can. These are all your exterior lights right here. So if I wanna put on a amber porch light, I just click this button right here. And on the outside light by your door, it'll come a nice amber color. This is for your stabilizer jacks and your front jack along with your awning. So if you want to manually lift up or down your, your jacks, you just press these buttons here, right here, up or down on any four of them. This controls your fr front jack. If you want to go up, if you want to go down, just press those buttons there. And then this right here is for your awning. You can extend your awning, retract your awning, and it even has a wind sensor mode on it. This is a really nice feature to have. It's got a low and high sensitivity. So let's say if it's a super windy day, 
and you have it on high sensitivity, instead of the awning just floating out there in the wind, it'll actually retract itself back in. You don't have to worry about any of your legs um, damaged by the wind. This is just for your tank levels, super simple. If you want to check the tanks, press this button on top, it'll show your readings. And another way to turn on your water pump, your water heater, and this is for your heated tanks. So the thing to note about your tanks is that they do have 12 volt heating pads on them. The underbelly is all insulated. It is encapsulated by a diamond plate. And what we do is we run your plumbing above the underbelly. So this is, allows you to go camping for extended periods of time. This is your electrical system page. This will show you how much shore power we, we are bringing in. This will show you your battery life. This will show you how much uh, charge we're getting from the roof chargers, your solar panels. And this is your auxiliary charger uh, symbols right here. So this will show you how much voltage and amps you're bringing in for, from your portable solar panels. This blue part right here just allows you to turn off and on the inverter. Right now you see it is on, that's why we're getting power in here. If you ever want to shut it off, just press that button right there. The last page, just a quick overview of this. We, this is mainly for all your suspension needs. So when you are in tow mode, you can have this tablet right inside your truck there. If you want to lift it up, if you're going off road, you just press max height. It'll go up that 12 inches I was talking to you about. And if you want to get to, when you get to the campsite, you press kneel and we switch over to the campsite page here. And this will allow you to be in manual mode, which will allow you to raise and lower the trailer by itself individually. Or you can put it in auto mode, you just press this button here and you can auto level your trailer out. So while you are setting up camp, just press auto level. This thing will lower itself down and then the stabilizer jacks will come down, your front jack will come down, and you're at a nice level point to easily access your outside kitchen. That was one of the big things why we put these airbags on there. And then if you ever want to shut your compressor off, just press this motion stop right there and everything shuts off. Another thing to mention too is your pitch and your roll. This will show you how level your trailer actually is and you can set the actual level on where you want it to be level in this page right here. Thanks for watching the video everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. This is our pause 20.2. Make sure you like, subscribe, share our videos, and comment what is your favorite part of the pause trailers. We'd love to know. As always, if you have any questions, contact your local dealer or visit the website.